We'll start with creating a new file, so we go to the File menu, File, New. We will choose Size, Pixels. Choose 1024 by 768. Press OK. And we have our new file. We'll rename this while it's in the background. And we will save our file as Sky Ferry Revisited. Also, we have some resources for this tutorial already prepared, and we will import the sky layer we want, a fairy on a starry night sky. Now we will hit File, Import. Go to the Resources folder, and we will choose a picture of the sky. Now click Open to import it now. We have it in a new layer and we will rename this layer in the sky. As you, as you can see it's not really filling up the screen so we will zoom out a little bit and use the transformation tool. We can use the transformation tool in various modes. For this one we will use it in free transform mode. Basically we will click on this corner and drag. Let's resize the right layer. This is the one we need to resize. It's resized, but it would be good if we had this shiny star somewhere around the center. So we will resize it some more. And more. Everything is transformed. Now we are satisfied. Something like this. Change the tool. Now we have the sky layer. Now we need a fairy. So we will import a picture of the woman. Again hit File, Import. We will import this picture. As you can see with this picture we have a little more than we need. So we will select with the selection tool, a rectangle selection tool, or we can choose this by hitting M on the keyboard. We will select our area of interest, something like this. We are interested in this one. Now we need to cut out the other parts so we will invert the selection, go to Edit Menu, Invert Selection. Now everything is selected except this. Make sure you are clicking on the right layer to work on. It has to be marked. Go to Edit Menu and hit Cut. Then to Deselect, hit Command D. Okay, now we need to take out this gray background and we will use the Magic Wand tool in Union. So basically we can click repeatedly and every time add an area to the selection. We click somewhere in the gray and put sensitivity to about 15%. Let's try again.
Okay, here we are. We need to select this also. So click here. Okay, let's select this little area. We zoom in and now we go to here. And here, in this area, somewhere around here. As you can see, we have a little more selected. We don't want to erase the spots on the dress. So you zoom in again. And we will use some of the selection tools, for example, the rectangular marquee tool. Rectangular selection tool in subtraction mode. This will subtract selected areas from the selection. <clears throat> like this. We can also use the lasso tool for selections that are not so rectangular. It's a little bit of a tedious process, so we will skip a few steps of the deselecting. We will deselect all, and we will import an already prepared image with removed background. We will remove this layer and work with the already prepared image with removed background to make this go a little faster. Basically, you get the idea about selecting and deselecting. We will use the transform tool to move the image somewhere around here so we have this nice glow through here. And that's it. Now we want to show a little bit more of this glow through here. So we will zoom in. And we will use the erasure tool. And change the opacity to around 25 with a big fall off to make it smooth. Choose the round brush here, and we will click here, in there, a few times. This. Now we will see more of the star through here. We will rename this, and save our file just in case. Okay, now we show the base for our fairy, but it looks too real. So what we will do is clone this layer. Right click, choose clone selected layers, name it, adjust it,
Now we will adjust the saturation and bring the saturation all the way down. And it will basically be black and white. Now let's make it slightly bigger. Contrast. Now we will adjust the transparency of this layer to 85. And now we can merge these two layers. We can do this by clicking these buttons. Okay, now it looks a little bit more like a fairy, but it still needs some adjustment. We'll do this by doing a file import and import a picture of the white satin. After we name the layer satin, save the file, and transform the satin layer. We, we are in the wrong layer. We'll put it back. We can also lock this layer. So if we want to change, we can unlock it. Later, we can lock this one on. This background we don't need anymore, and we will remove it by clicking Remove Selected Layers. Now we will work in a new layer, which we will call Satin. Use the Transformation tool and move somewhere over here. Rotate a little bit, like this. What we want to do is create an extension of this dress by this satin layer. So we put the center of the rotation here so we can rotate around here. Okay. The satin is a little different color than the dress, so we will again use the adjustment of the saturation. We will desaturate it and basically make it black and white. We will also adjust the contrast a little bit more. Now it looks like her dress. Okay. Now we will duplicate this layer clone it, choose right click, clone selected layers, and we will transform this new layer again. Okay, let's duplicate this layer again. This one is Satin 1. And this one is Satin 2. Remember to save your file every few minutes so you don't lose your work. We will transform the Satin 2 layer.
we will bring the center of rotation around here. Like this. Now we will bring the opacity of this layer to 70%. And just to see what happens down there. Now we will unlock this layer and use the eraser tool on it. The opacity will be at 100% and a big fall off. A bigger size like this, and we will erase these parts that we don't need. Then we will go to the satin layer here, carefully erase what we don't need. The opacity like this, then on to another layer, this one. Change the opacity, then this one. Add an undo onto it. You can also do this in your history. Okay, let's go back to erasing. This looks pretty good. Let's go here to this one. Let's put our opacity at 90%. Now let's go to 100%. Click this. And it should be parked like this. We can also use the lasso tool for this. Just select the part of the image. Okay, it does nothing. Okay, we have to make a change. Click Create Selection. Now we can select a part and cut it out. Let's see what's happening. There are some parts of this that we need to change. In this layer, this line needs to be erased. Change the size and fall off to smaller also. Basically, play around with it a little bit. Until you get the results you want.
Now we will merge these satin layers, select them all, click Merge Selected Layers, and we will transform it a little. Bigger, maybe narrower on this side. Okay, we will erase some more here, change the opacity like this, some more here, so basically that's it. Now we have our fairy. Change the opacity of this layer to 100. Now we will merge these layers and call it Fairy. We now need to add some glow behind this fairy, so we will create a new layer. Click here, add new layer, we will call it Glow. It will be behind, so Glow Behind. Okay, the layer behind the fairy. We will use the gradient tool for that gradient. In the settings we will choose color from let's say light blue to white. This is the transparency adjustment and we will begin with a small transparency and end up with a double transparency. So basically we will add our glow here and we will use the radial glow and go like this. We will add some more glow with the Radiant tool, but we will change entrance points by 100 and distance points to 0. And we will choose this to be white. That's not what we wanted. Let's try this. Now we will try this. Okay, this is basically what we wanted. Now we add another layer and we will call it Startled. We will use a brush, foreground white, transparent, and we will use the star shape and start. Let's see, this one's too small, this one's too big. This one is good and we will click here. Let's change the color so we can do this in white. Okay, that's it. 
we go behind the ferry, right in front of the glow, and use the transformation tool. The center should be somewhere around here. Take this and adjust it. Resize it a bit like this. should be a little transparent and the glow should be a little bit transparent. We will duplicate this layer, clone it like this, and we will transform it. So drag the center of rotation here, just rotated. That's it. Let's make it a little more transparent like this. So we are satisfied. We will merge globes, but not the fairy. The fairy will match these two star globes. Okay, what we need now is one adjustment layer over everything else. So we will add a new layer and call it adjustment. And use the gradient tool. For the gradient tool, we will choose radial type, but we will start with the color green. and it will be transparent a little bit. Okay, we're going to end up with the color purple and add the color in the middle like this. Okay, we will bend transparency from the beginning like this, and this, and like this. Maybe let's try from the face like this. Okay, let's make this a little bit transparent. Okay, let's import some already prepared images. Some images of cosmic energy. Something like that. We will transform it. Not this layer. Uh, let's undo and re-import. Call it energy. Do the transparency and transform it. Like this. Let's bring it down somewhere around here. Transform some more. Okay, let's duplicate this layer, clone it, and move it behind the ferry.
transform it. Make it a little smaller than the first time. That's it. A little more transparent. Choose the energy layer. And use the eraser tool on it. Just, just to see the fairy a little bit better. So let's do some adjustments here. Save the file. So that's it, we're done. Now you can export. some of the layers or you can save it as a PNG or JPEG or any other file formats. There are a lot of file formats here to export. I'm saving it as a JPEG and saving it for preview. Save our file again, and that's it. We are done. Thank you.